Hi, I'm OG Duffy, and you want to add new games to the Spectrum. Of course you do. The 48 games that come preloaded are all pretty good, but let's be honest, you've got your old favourites from back in the day. Now, a disclaimer before we get into any of this. If you're downloading ROMs and using ROMs, you should have the original game in your ownership. Uh, for the examples of games I'm using today, I do own the originals, so all is good. Anyway, what are we going to need for this? A PC, I will be demonstrating on a Windows-based PC. You will need a thumb drive or a USB stick, which I'll have sitting there, whichever you choose to call it. Now, with this, this is important. Do not use a stick that is above 32 gigabytes in size. That is important because apparently... The Spectrum doesn't like it. So anything above 32 gigabytes, you're going to have problems with, guys. So 32 gigabyte or smaller, ideally, okay? Because these ROM files are very, very small for these games. What else are we going to need? The Spectrum itself. And, of course, a bit of patience and time to get this set up. Follow these steps. We will go through the complete steps and we will get this done, okay? I will also be showing you where and how to get the ROMs. That's the important bit, but enough talking, let's get it done. Firstly, set yourself up a folder on your, your desktop, call it the Spectrum, call it Specky, call it whatever you want, okay? We keep everything stored in there as we go, just makes life a lot, lot easier. So you've got your USB stick, you need to insert it into your PC, and we need to format the drive, okay? Now, ideally, you used to just right-click it, and it would just say format, and you could choose FAT32, F-A-T-32. But the new Windows systems don't really like the old system of FAT32. But don't worry, there is a workaround thanks to the good people at Retro Games Limited. We need to head to their website, which is obviously through Google. I've just typed Retro Games Limited. I'm following that link there. As you can see, come into it here. So we're going to go products, and from products, I'm choosing the Spectrum. And then you've got support here. Hit the support tab and you've got user manuals, things like that. It's always useful coming back every now and then as well to update the Spectrum's firmware. Uh, firmware okay. And as you can see here, using a pre-prepared USB stick image, click that link there. Now there's two downloads from this page we're going to want. Now the first one is this here, Bellina Etcher. Uh, it's a program that flashes your drive for you or flashes your stick for you. It's, it's a good little program and it's completely free, no pop-ups or anything. Well, didn't when I used it. And then next, the download we're going to want from this page is one of these four options. Now, as you can see there, we've got 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 bit, 32 gig. Now, this is important because if we look at step number one here, download one of the disk image files below, choosing one that is smaller than the maximum capacity of your USB stick. Now, this is a 16 gig. I've downloaded the 8 gig. Okay, whether you can get away with using a 16 gig on a 16 gig, I don't know. I've not done it, but what I've done works for me. So over to you, really. You can do what you like. So I downloaded the U, uh, the 8 gig one because that's the one I needed. So get them downloaded. My files are downloaded, so I'm now going to drop them into the Spectrum file just because of convenience. I've gone File Manager here, Downloads, and from there you can see that I've downloaded the 16 gig version and the 8 gig. I'm dropping the 8 gig version, just clicking and dragging it as a zipped file in to the spectrum there okay and then closing that now what you do you open up Bellina etcher and here it is so now put your drive in and mine's already flashed so I'm, i've just done this so i don't need to do it again this probably takes anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes it depends on the speed of your pc and your drive that it's dropping to i suppose so from here you're simply going to go flash from file okay and then that is the file we are using so you can double click that and then you select your target. Obviously, you it will show it in here when you select it and that's the drive you choose. Make sure you choose the right drive if you've got several attached, okay? And then from there, you'll press the button and then play the game and wait. Here's some pre-recorded video of me waiting. The Bellina Etcher program is now doing its thing. It's flashing that thumb drive for me. And as you can see, there you got a bit of a progress. Uh, it's saying the estimated time is another eight minutes. Again, this will depend on the size of your thumb drive you're using and, of course, the speed of your computer as well. But um, all in all, you've just got to wait it out, people. And remember, do not use a thumbstick over 32 gigabytes in size. Now saying flash is completed, so that's a good thing. So the drive should now be ready to put the ROM on to drop down onto the stick 
So let's get to the juicy stuff, the game ROMs, where to find them and how to install them. So I'm on Google here. Uh, what we do here, I've just typed in Spectrum ROMs in the search. And the site I currently like to use is this one here, uh, worldofspectrum.net. Uh, there's an archive here, so I'm hitting that, and this is the site I go into. Now, if this site isn't available at the time of you viewing this video, it's been taken down or whatever, you know, then uh, there's plenty more out there. You just do search in Google, Spectrum ROMs, etc. But anyway, back to this one. So we're in the archive, and as you can see right at the top here, there's games. So you go into games, uh, there's an alphabetical link there. Uh, and and there's just well, there's loads of games isn't there for this system there truly truly is so i'm going to go r and i'm going to look for uh let's have a look at um a rambo i do own rambo that was a good little game i thoroughly enjoyed it so let's find that l m n o rampart we needed it rambo there we go uh here it is Okay, so now as you can see there, we've got a choice of two files here. So you've got one here. Well, there's actually more. There's one, two, three. There's five different ROMs here, and they're identifiable by the tape icon. Uh, this one here is TZX, 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 and that one is a TAP. It's my understanding that TAP files uh, don't have loading, but I've done a few and they have. So let's, let's do the, the T, TAP and a TZX file. So all you do is press that. And as you can see, it shoots straight up there into my downloads. Okay. So, so far, so good. So let's go back to my desktop. Now from here, I'm going to open up my downloads folder. Uh, and we will get them two folders that we just downloaded. And we'll drop them into the file there, which is the Spectrum uh, folder. Just to make it everything easier, and I've dropped them over. Now, I'm going to go into my Spectrum folder, and I'm going to un right click on the folder. So, the dot tap one first, I'm going to right click that, and I'm going to extract all and extract, and it'll extract it all there. Okay. And now, if I go back up, and I'm going to do the same for the TZX folder, I'm going to right click that, and I'm also going to go extract all. Okay, and there you go. So I've got two folders of files now. I've got TZX and I've got dot tap. We will now go over and open up the uh, the drive where I have dropped the um, the game. There it is, the F1, the file that with the thumbstick we formatted. It's obviously empty. I haven't added anything to it yet. So let's go into the Spectrum, the folder I created. Let's do the dot tap file first. Going to just click and drag that into my thumb drive there. Go back up, let's do the TZX as well, and drop that in there. Also, as you can see, the file sizes of these games are minuscule. I mean, 49 kilobytes. They are tiny, tiny files. Now, we're going to unplug the thumbstick, plug it into the Spectrum, and hopefully, we'll be playing Rambo. We are now back on the Spectrum, and as you can see, I've plugged in the USB stick, because on the carousel that you see there, as you can see, uh, where the game sort of um, titles are, you now have a USB stick there, so you press M to open that. Now, as we can see here, I've got the two files that I dropped there, Rambo, which is a TZX, and the TAP file. So, I'm going to try the TAP file. Now, uh, you press M. And then you can go into game settings, and uh, as you can see there, tape loading speed. I set them to maximum, so if it does have to do the tape loading, it just goes a lot, lot quicker. Okay, and we'll check that on that one as well. So, yep, that's set to maximum too, which is good. So, let's try that one first. And all you do, instead of pressing M again, which we're in the habit of doing, you have to press enter, but it tells you at the bottom of the screen there. So, there you go, that's a dot tap file, and as you can see there. It loaded without all the screen going through it all and everything else. So that was quite a bit easier. Uh, start control skill level. Let's just press it C. Define the keys. Let's give this a go. So left, right, up, down, fire, and that to change weapons, I assume. So all good. Enter to finish. S, start the game. This takes me back. I used to love this game. Enter the name. Oh, gee. That do. There you go. Press any key, OG. I have, sir. I have. Right, and here we go. And we're running around as little Rambo. <laughs>
That's my fire. I've currently got a knife. Yeah, because you have to you shoot with the knives, don't you? Because they're quiet. You don't get the thing. But anyway, it worked. It works. Now let me just go back. Uh, I'm pressing the um, the home button. So we're going to go back into it now, and we're going to choose the other. Um, TZX file. Now, my understanding is this should load like a, a standard sort of uh, you know game would, but it's accelerated because I accelerated it, it's gone straight in. So, as you can see there, that's how you get games to load on to the ZX Spectrum. Well, it's not the ZX Spectrum, is it? The Spectrum. Over to you now, guys. In the comments, let me know what games you would recommend and suggest and what games are you definitely going to be downloading that were your old favourites back in the day. I've been OG Duffy. I hope you have found this useful. If you have, then please subscribe and please hit the like button, share, do whatever you want to do. But the important thing is the comments, game suggestions. Let me have yours. Anyway, hope you found this of use. If so, please do let me know and uh, I'll see you on a few more Spectrum videos over on my channel at some point. I'm sure. Look after yourselves, stay safe and see you all on the next one.